The economy of Namibia explained. Namibia is a small African country with a population of about 2.6 million people and a GDP of about $11 million. Namibia has a long South Atlantic coastline bordering South Africa, Botswana, Zambia and Angola. It is the driest country in Southern Africa with abundant mineral resources such as diamonds and uranium. Political stability and strong economic management have helped to sustain poverty reduction and allowed Namibia to become an upper middle income country. However, social economic inequalities inherited from the past apartheid system remain very high and structural restrictions to growth has hindered job creations. Namibia's economy is divided into two main parts, which is a modern market sector that generates the majority of the country's wealth and a traditional agricultural sector. Namibia boasts over 200,000 skilled employees and a significant number of well-trained professionals and managers, despite the fact that the majority of the population is engaged in subsistence agriculture and herding. Hello viewers and welcome to another episode on the channel where we are going to be explaining to you the economy of Namibia in a simply better and detailed approach. But before we get right into this, if you're new to the channel, ensure to click that subscribe button and give us a like if you find this video informative enough. Let's have a quick overview. Eventually, Namibia is classified as a lower middle income country with a per capita GDP that is much higher than the average sub-Saharan African countries. However, the fact that the GDP is much higher than the average when compared to other sub-Saharan countries can be a misleading factor. Only one quarter of all Namibians and one sixth of black Namibians have sufficient earnings, while up to two thirds of its population live in abject poverty with inadequate access to public services. Because of a declining productive sector, a shortage of capital stock, and serious international market challenges for basic metals and uranium oxides, economic growth remains a challenge. Furthermore, the government's conservative fiscal strategies implies that unless foreign assistance commitments quickly convert into large real inflows and private external investments in mining, manufacturing and fisheries begin to emerge and the one component of GDP that grew rapidly in the 1990s will fall. Agriculture, Fishing and Forestry The agricultural industry is the backbone of the Namibian economy and has been one of the most important contributors to the economy throughout the years. Due to its nature of providing a source of income, food security, foreign profits, and raw materials to the manufacturing industry, the sector remains the engine in the Namibian economic growth. Natural disasters such as floods and droughts, wild animals, conflicts and pests, as well as scarcity restrictions, have all had an impact on the sector. Despite recent slow growth, the sector continues to play an important role in the lives of the majority of the people, contributing both directly and indirectly to their well-being. Namibia boasts one of the most fertile fishing grounds in the whole world, thanks to the Benguela current system, one of the world's four eastern border of whaling systems. This system sustains diverse fish populations and ecosystems, which serve as a foundation for Namibia's marine fisheries industries. Namibian fisheries are subject to external economic and ecological shocks, making catch levels uncertain due to Benguela current changes caused by climate change from time to time. As a result of this, this has a downfall effect on employment, including income and government revenue. Inadequate capacity in both the public and private sectors has been identified as a major obstacle for Namibia's sustainable development. The shortage of suitable trained entrepreneurs in either vocational or business schools is a major disadvantage of the small business sector in Namibia. Not only are these businesses poorly managed, but the products or services they make or sell also vary in quality. Despite being a dry nation, Namibia has a variety of vegetation zones, including woods and forests, due to its wide size. Forest resources continue to play an important role in rural life, particularly in emerging nations such as Namibia. The potential for Namibia's community forests to reduce rural poverty and contribute to rural development is enormous. Maintaining a balance between the two main goals of the national forest policy, which is conservation and social economic development, is critical in combating both deforestation and rural poverty. Mining Mining is Namibia's most important economic sector, which contributes roughly 10% of the country's annual GDP and accounts for 25% of the country's income. Diamond mining has always been Namibia's main subsector for the mining industry, producing roughly 30% of the world's diamonds. Diamonds, uranium, copper, gold, lead, tin, cadmium, zinc, salt, and vanadium are amongst Namibia's natural resources. Mining exploration is mostly carried out by the private sector in Namibia. The current focus of exploration is on base metals like diamonds, gold, natural gas, and uranium. This demonstrates that the mining sector in the nation has a lot of room to expand and flourishing, while oil, on the other hand, was recently discovered off the coast of Namibia, making it the most recent mining discovery. 
manufacture and industry. Namibia's manufacture industry contributed roughly 11% of GDP in 2020, but is limited by small domestic markets, reliance on imported goods, a limited supply of local capital, a wide dispersed population, a small trend labor force, and highly relative pay rates. Nevertheless, Namibia has a well-developed road system with a road network of high quality, gravel trunk, main and distinct road networks totaling 48,117 kilometers, including 4,500 kilometers of tied roads. The Trans-Kalahari and trans Reef Highway connects Namibia's port of Wavis Bay on the Atlantic coast with landlocked neighboring nations in a quick and comfortable manner. The Trans-Kalahari Highway in particular connects the ports to Botswana and the Gauteng province, which is the industrial heart of South Africa. There are direct flight connections to major sub-Saharan cities such as Cape Town, Johannesburg, Gaborone, Luanda, Lusaka and Harare. Trans Namib Holdings Limited manages Namibia's railway networks, which consist of 2,382 kilometers narrow gauge railway lines. Tourism Tourism contributes significantly to Namibia's GDP, directly or indirectly, employing tens of thousands of people and serving over a million visitors each year. Natural attractions in Namibia include the Namib Desert, which is the oldest desert in the world, the Fish River Canyon, which is the second largest canyon after the Grand Canyon, a mix of wildlife and beautiful landscape, the world-famous sand dunes at Sosuzvel, the skeleton coast with its extraordinary landscapes, and the popular Itosha National Park, which is one of the largest game reserves in Africa. Coupled with its natural beauty, Namibia's good road infrastructure and lower levels of crime than most of its neighboring countries make it an ideal destination for tourists. Economic Challenges Looking at the factors we previously talked about, it's clear that Namibia is a prime example of a country with diverse and extraordinary natural and cultural resources, but also that must overcome challenges. As a result of numerous drastic events in the past and the country's recent national independence, Namibia's government is facing several cultural and economic difficulties. Namibia is known throughout the world for having extremely unequal conditions that can be traced back to their history. These unequal conditions are affecting the country's 13 regions in terms of gender, education, health, wages, infrastructure, and a variety of other factors. Namibia is also experiencing a human resource crisis in the public health sector with a shortage of healthcare professionals, high vacancy rates across the board, as well as high unemployment rates. Besides that, local health and social academic institutions lack the capacity to produce the required number of health workers. Namibia has a critical shortage of social workers who are spread across various government institutions, non-governmental organizations, and faith-based organizations, as well as a few private practices. Investment Opportunities Namibia provides opportunities for infrastructure investments through public-private partnerships, PPPs, or foreign direct investments, known as FDIs. Because of its location, it provides access for manufacturers and exporters to 15 Southern African Development Community countries with a combined population of about 280 million people. Namibia currently has a shortage of affordable service land and housing, with opportunities for investments and operations in this field and has also embarked on a large-scale program of infrastructure, renewal and development. Due to climate change, adaptive crop production technologies are required to prepare for climate variability and to mitigate droughts. Namibia welcomes private social enterprise, particularly in health and education, to boost public social service provision. Namibia is a popular tourist destination and tourism investment is welcomed, particularly in lodging sectors. There you have it viewers, that brings us to the end of the video and we appreciate you for sticking to the end. Feel free to drop your comments below, like, share and don't forget to check that subscription button once more. See you next time and thanks for watching.